the green flag flies once again. Doug Hoffman answers the call into turn one. Hoffman answers the call, but the doctor is about to make a house call, perhaps. That's an expression that uh, you and others have used. But nine grand Dan has it wound up as he tries to run down Hoffman here in the final stages of the Phase 300, the world's richest dirt track stock car race. $100,000 is the winner's take-home prize money and contingency awards. Jack Johnson and the Hurricane Steve Payne, the 12 and 7 machines. Joe Plasek runs in position number four. Jack Johnson is back in five. Payne is in six. Ricky Elliott running in the top ten. He drifts high in turn number two. He'll lose a spot as uh, Scotty Prentice moves by. Here we go back to the uh, back straightaway. Danny Johnson runs about 15 car lengths behind. Race leader Doug Hoffman. Now remember, you can just go back a few short years, and Danny Johnson was in second place in a race right here at the fairgrounds, and suddenly there was contact with the leader. There certainly was and the leader that day was uh, Frank Cozy. They both crashed out of the event. So if, if Danny can catch Doug Hoffman, you can expect not only a speed battle, but a physical battle to the checkered flag. $100,000 and the prestige that goes with all this means an awful lot to all these guys. They're not opposed to wheel banging, but that's uh, probably not going to happen here as they battle for position. But you never know <laughs> until the checkered flag flops. Stay tuned. <laughs> There's Danny in the number six. Danny has matured as a race car driver. He's always been good, but in his early days, a little rough, but very, very tough on equipment. But he's mellowed a little bit. He's won a 200 lapper in Susquehanna a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he's won uh, a number of big races here late in the season, and he's uh, learned to slow down, go fast, and be there at the end. Slow down, but not all that slow. He's still <laughs> very much uh, a charger. Battle for second, third, and fourth. There's Joe Plazic trying to reel in. Kenny Tremont, the 115. The story right there. Doug Hoffman started in the 21st row, 42nd position in the Phil Chevrolet, and he took that Troyer to the lead. That bump that a number of drivers have talked about isn't it getting any better, and of course, eventually that'll take its toll on these uh, some of this equipment. Doug Hoffman trying to become a first-time winner. The last 300 first-time winner was Richie Tobias in 92. That was a rain-shortened event. Before that, we have to go back to 88 when Kenny Brightbill won the race, uh, a first-time winner. He was our pole sitter in this event. Hoffman is the leader. Danny Johnson second, Kenny Tremont third, Joe Plazic, Jack Johnson, the top five. Moving back to the second five, six is Payne, Pat Ward runs in number seven spot, Bobby Varin is eight, Scotty Prentice is nine, and Dave Blaney runs in position number 10. Lap number 167 on the board. And Doug Hoffman is in traffic. There's that uh, much abused number 348 that we talked about earlier, and that's uh, a menace on the racetrack right now. It's not handling very well at all, and Hoffman disposes of Rick Mill. And he's got a sizable advantage. There you see Danny Johnson just swinging out of turn four. There's a shot of Ronnie Smoker, his first ever. Phase 300, second generation driver out of North Boston, New York. 20 laps to go. 20 laps to go. Top rookie in the race, Ron Smoker. Smoker racing there with Johnny Moravic in the Barney Moravic Waterwells car. Currently in 17th position on the lead lap, and you had a look at Jeff Hetzler, who, in the scheme of things, got shuffled right down to the bottom of the deck. Yeah, he was involved in a little wheel banging deal earlier, and uh, since then he has uh, been off the pace, but not off the pace. His race leader, Doug Hoffman, Phil Chevrolet, Three Mile Fruit Farms. Or your bus with a Ron Hutter big block Chevrolet under the hood. You take a look at our top. We have a car slowing. That's John Hewitt. Doing a great run here today. Driver out of Troy, New York. Another of the Rayfordburg construction sponsored cars. 
He's got a rear flat, and I believe it may force the yellow flag. Yes, it does. We have caution on the racetrack here at the New York State Fairgrounds. Our leaders, Doug Hoffman, Danny Johnson, Kenny Tremont, Joe Plazic, those top four drivers, all very, very accomplished on the dirt circuit, but there's one glaring omission. There's one, one line missing on their resume, and that is champion of the phase 300. All are very, very capable. All have been major players in this race for a number of years, but as the cards have unfolded, they've just never managed to be on top at the end of the day. We have 17 laps remaining. Our leader is Doug Hoffman. Our special rush hour will continue. This is the Phase 300 at Super Dirt Week in Syracuse. Rush hour. Super Dirt Week.